So one question I get asked a lot is, how do I have two coded swords? You can only get one per playthrough. Or how the heck do I have 99 of all these consumable runes? Well, the answer is backups and trading. That's how you duplicate items in this game. Sure, you could go through New Game Plus multiple times to get multiple of the same items, but if you've got a friend you can trade with and you know how to make backups, you can just trade back and forth and get plenty of whatever item you want. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. First off, we need to make a backup, so let's close our game. Now, when you close your game, you're gonna want it to wait until you actually fully close the game. You can see I closed it, but it still says it's running, it's in the green. So give it some time, it takes a while, maybe 30 seconds to a minute or so wait for it to actually fully close all right so now my game has actually fully closed so we're gonna go ahead and make a backup folder on the computer as you can see i've already done exactly that you can make this backup folder wherever you want it doesn't matter mine's on the desktop for easy access i recommend you put the backup folder somewhere you can easily access because you're going to be going back and forth with it a lot if you play this game as much as i do so make an elden ring backup folder and we need to access the elden ring files the save files that we can copy into that folder to make the backup so how are we going to do this? Well, you can either hold Windows key and press R, or if you prefer, you can go to search and just type run. And we're going to open that app. And you're going to want to type in percent app data percent. And then OK. And that's going to take you to this folder right here. You can see Elden Ring is here. Double click on that. Then double click on this folder with a series of numbers. And then right here, these two files are exactly what you want. So we're going to copy these two. These are your save file. Copy them. And then wherever you put your backup folder, this is where mine is. As you can see, I already have the files in here. You're going to want to paste them into this folder right here. This is going to be your backup. We're going to load from this backup later once you drop items from your friend or once your friend drops items to you. Either way, back and forth, however you do it, you need this backup. And backups are just good to have in general, not just for duping items, but for example, there are hackers before the past that were able to put you in a perma death loop in your save and if you didn't have a backup that save file was gone you were toast so just keep backups in general they're good to have whether you do the dupe or not but anyways you have your backup so now we're going to go ahead and launch the game get your friend to launch the game too you're going to meet up and you're going to start trading items so now you need to get summoned by your friend or vice versa so that you can meet up for trading the way you're going to want to do that is set some kind of password ours is paw set yours to whatever the heck you want and i recommend using a red sign because if you use a yellow sign, then the person who puts their sign down can only be summoned if the guy summoning hasn't killed the area boss yet. However, if you put a red sign, you'll be able to summon the red sign whether the boss is killed or not. But if you feel more comfortable using a golden sign, that's fine. Just make sure that the area boss hasn't been killed yet for the person who's summoning. So here's my friend. I'm totally not about to slaughter him. No, we're not gonna do that. We're here to trade. We're here to help him. So he has only one coated sword and he wants a second one. So. Let's pretend that I only have one. Heck, I'll even just destroy this. Let's, how do I, how do I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you have to unequip the item if you want to drop it. So I'm gonna destroy one of these coated swords. Discard it, yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one for him. So he's gonna be able to pick that up. And then he's going to have a second coated sword for himself. There we go. He just picked it up. And now I don't have any coated swords. So it's like, oh snap, did I lose all my coated swords? Well, we'll see. Let's go load the backup. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the world, and we're going to go get our coded swords back. So we gave him a coded sword. He has two now. I have zero. But remember, we made that backup previously, and that backup had two coded swords. So we can refer to that backup to get our swords back. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's close the game, and again, wait for it to actually fully close before you continue. We fully closed the game. It's fully closed. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back into the game files, Windows key plus R, percent app data percent, hit enter. This file is without the coded swords. This is after we drop the coded swords. So we're gonna pull up our backup, and this backup is from before we drop the coded swords. So we're going to copy these two, and we're gonna paste them over our game files here. And then, now, you'll see when we boot up the game, we're gonna have our two swords back. All right, as you can see, we're back, and I have my two coded swords again, and my friend also has his two coded swords. So there you go. That's how you can duplicate items like coded swords. Of course, you can only do this for items that can actually be dropped, so weapons can be dropped, armor can be dropped, some consumables can be dropped. You cannot drop uh, spirit ashes. Can you drop crafting? Yeah, anything that where the leave isn't grayed out, any item where the leave isn't grayed out, you can drop it. You cannot drop upgrade materials. These cannot be dropped. I don't think you can drop seeds. Nope. You can't drop great runes, crystal tears. You can't drop spells. 
You can drop Ashes of War. That's something you, you might not expect, but you can actually drop Ashes of War. So I've been able to help some people since I play this game so much. I've been able to drop some Ashes of War for friends that really needed them and didn't feel like grinding for all of them. And yeah, you can drop weapons, you can drop ammunition, shields, armor, no problem. You can also drop talismans. That's really cool. So you can help some friends out in that regard. You cannot drop info items. And that's about it. Now, how... So so you understand how to get something like another coated sword. How did you get, like, 99 runes, right? Okay, well, let's stay on the coated sword analogy, right? Okay, so my friend has two coated swords right now, right? What if he made a backup, and then he dropped me two coated swords, and then loaded his backup so he got those two coated swords back? Well, then I would have four coated swords, right? And then what if I backed up after getting the four coated swords, and then I dropped him four? Well, then he would have six, right? And then you go back and forth, so on and so forth, and then before you know it, you're at 99 of an item that you really want, like these runes, for example. So that's how you can get to 99 or something, and there's no cheats involved, no no glitches or anything like that. It's just purely through backups and trading. That's all that's involved. And this is a trick that's existed in past Souls games, but I know Elden Ring has a lot of new players, so you might not be aware of this tactic. So that's what this video is for. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Plenty more Elden Ring videos are coming. You probably saw that Arcane uh, build folder on my desktop. That's right. I have actually almost done with an Arcane build for PvP, and I can't wait to show it with you. I'm really, really excited. But anyways, happy hunting, best of luck, and happy trading. I'll see you later.